This year's Innovator Award is presented by Lexus, whose vehicles are known for their innovative use of technology and stunning design. Now let's take a look at our inspiring nominees. Each of these trailblazers have worn many hats while evolving and innovating to make their dreams a reality. And showing the next generation of LGBTQ innovators that their dreams can come true to. Literally everything in the entertainment industry, as queer folks in whatever industry you work in, everything is walls. What does being an innovator mean to me? Um, somebody who just can always think of a way around that wall. I think, uh, you know, being an innovator is being fearless, really blazing your own path. Uh, when you see something that doesn't exist, instead of complaining about it, uh, you decide that you're gonna change that. I think an innovator is someone who wants to contribute to this world, but they're the person that's gonna put the action behind it. I think being an innovator means when you set yourself apart by following your own path, you end up being happy no matter what the outcome is. I think right now, during this pandemic, we're all learning to be more innovative. So being an innovator for me has always been out of necessity, but I just have always felt like there are no obstacles, just a lot of really great opportunities to show folks something they haven't seen before. And the winner is Shandel. Well, hello and hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for this award. I am so thrilled. Yes, honey, it's me, you girl, Shandel. La say what? I saw this as a baby now. All grown up, all grown up, and winning awards. Look at this. Innovator of the Year, thank you, Queer Tea, for nominating me for this award, and a huge thank you to the fans who voted for this award. I appreciate you so much for continuing to see me. You know, uh, the doll has been up in this industry for over a decade now in the drag business. And I know to some that may not seem like a very long time, but for me it feels like a very long time. But every year I try to come up with different ways to stay connected to my fans in the most relevant way. I appreciate you guys for continuing to stick with me, you know, and be open uh, to the things that I bring to you. Thank you uh, to my amazing team that continues to help me bring these uh, these fun and sometimes crazy ideas to life. Um, things like, you know, feed the queens. Like, hey, we want to raise $100,000. They're like, what? Uh, but we did it. We raised $100,000 to feed the queens and gave it to uh, drag entertainers across the U.S. to fight hunger. Yes, we did. Uh, when I came up with different products I wanted to launch, it happened with this past year when um, I was a part of an amazing show, which will come up back with the season two. We're here. Uh, I want to thank everyone who supported me and my co-hosts on that journey as I was a co-host and consulting producer on that show. Thank you so very much. These things would not happen mm -mm, without the team, so I got to thank the team. Uh, I want to thank my manager, Mark and Ron and Steve and we, Jason. I would like to thank uh, my agents as well as Nick and Kyle and Dekiel and my creative consultant, Miss Joella. I love you guys so much. Uh, every makeup artist and hairstylist and designer that I've been able to work with, thank you for helping put together the doll in the, in the best way possible. I appreciate you and I see you, okay? And also I wanna dedicate this award to every person in nightlife around the world uh, that has been hit so hard by this pandemic and is continuing to push through in whatever way you know how. It is continuing to hold on to your joy in a time where you haven't been able to either go to work or express yourself in, in a bar or a nightclub and do what you love to do, which for a lot of us is entertain. And you're continuing to make it. So don't give up. You know, if anything to be inspired of, by my journey by, it's to not give up. And I know that I don't always make uh, every right choice, uh, but I can always look in the mirror and say, all right, Miss Thing, we wanna be better and let's do better. And I lead with compassion and love in my heart. So I just wanna thank all of you for uh, honoring me with this award and I hope to continue to represent you in the best way possible and know that I want to be always better and continue to evolve and continue to innovate. Let's do that and go out here and be business fish and let these folks know that we're gonna turn the party, okay? The LGBTQIA plus community is gonna work it and I'm gonna be right there with you. And we're gonna do it ourselves, cause what? We don't have a sugar daddy, never had a sugar daddy. If we want a sugar daddy, we can go out and get one cause we are what y'all? Sickening. Thank you and hallelujah.